Hey y'all, it's time to chit chat, chit chat, hey, chit chat. So look y'all, I'm actually in the middle of, I have to be very uh, creative how I do these chit chat videos and, and videos in general because I'm in the middle of trying to do all of these product reviews. Cause I'm telling you, it's gonna be a wrap. I really don't know what I'm gonna be talking about in this chit chat, but we are going to make it work, girl. Um, you hear that? My husband and child are outside playing in the pool while I'm here doing videos for y'all because I, I love y'all apparently. Um, all right, y'all. So let me go ahead and take this hair down. So hey, y'all, how y'all been? You know, I wanted to call you last week, but girl, I was busy. Y'all already know if you follow my vlogs, you know that it has been a lot going home and my a lot going on and my household. We are doing a lot of things to the house, and y'all know I told y'all my husband's getting my nerves, y'all. It's getting on my nerves, y'all, but I love him. And I'm so glad that so many of y'all agree with me that your husband gets on your nerves too. I'm so happy to see that. Um, look at my hair, y'all. My hair is thriving. Yes, I'm still using rice water. Look, girl, there, there, there are not gonna be any microorganisms pop locking and dropping on my head, on my scalp. I'm not worried about that, y'all, so. um. My hair is blown out. I had to wash my hair twice in one day because I used a product by Curl's Daughter that y'all, I was to the point after using that product, I almost didn't want to review the almond milk mask. But a couple of you asked me to review that and I tried to stay true to my word, I'm a Leo. So I don't like to back out on things. If I say I'm gonna do something, I like to follow through on it. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with um, reviewing that product and if it doesn't work we're gonna square up girl we we fighting because i'm tired y'all i am so tired so y'all know how we do this we talk about what's in these youtube streets we talk about when i'm looking at tv we talk about home life maybe i bring up some you know just some random stuff y'all know how it is so girl youtube streets really ain't much going on i have noticed a shift on youtube um there is something I did want to talk about because I saw a video from, and, and I, I'll get to it, the shift. I saw a video from Nappy Head Jehovah and she is part of that shift and I, I admire her for for that. Her channel, um, is it, she goes over a lot of different things. She, she talks about a lot of different things, beauty, hair, gossip, what's on YouTube, you know, hot topics was going on on YouTube. And I like that. I know that she's had a few people that are like, girl, we don't, we are not here for the drama. Really think she's she's bringing drama on her channel I think that she's staying relevant and she's picking up the topics that are trending and there's really nothing wrong with that you don't have to watch it y'all y'all hear me say this all the time girl you don't have to watch it click out <laughs> so anyway she did a, a video yesterday about a young man who committed suicide an african-american youtuber and he had a huge following i think what like seven hundred thousand subscribers and i'm really not going to get into it because i know this is a big trigger but um he apparently did make a suicide video it has since been removed i'm not even going to talk about who it was i saw the first minute of it I would not recommend looking at this video if you are in a dark place. I couldn't even get past. I'm not I'm not even in, you know, that type of headspace. But because I tend to be very sens sensitive and just my heart my heart goes out to the young man. I couldn't get past the first minute. I had to close out of it. And it's very unfortunate, y'all. You never know what people are going through. Um, and unfortunately, in the day of age of social media, you can have this illusion of being happy um, and being content with your life. I find that, you know, a lot of the stuff you see on here is, is not what you think it is, y'all. It, it really not, it's really not. I mean, you may, you don't know everything that's going on in my life. You only know what I choose to, to share with you. I think I try or I hope to come off as genuine as possible, but there are a lot of things that I hold back on. Um, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I want to keep my platform a little bit more upbeat. I know a lot of you watch me to get in a better mood, so how dare I come on here depressed? No. It's not like that. I do talk about anxiety when I'm having a bad day. But I guess what I'm saying, I don't want the overall feeling to be down in the dumps, 
pity this is what I'm going through you know what I mean but that does not mean just because I'm not sharing that doesn't mean that I I'm not going through that or doesn't mean that there's something going on okay um so yeah that was very unfortunate but back to the shift on YouTube I am noticing overall a shift on this platform I've been feeling it for a while but now it's definitely a push um, I'm noticing, like Nappy Head and Jojoba, a lot of women or a lot of, excuse me, content creators in the natural hair arena. Um, oh, that's a cute hairstyle. A lot of people are bringing different type of content to their channel. Because I've said it, I've said it before, y'all. We are more than just our hair. And what I'm going to be covering here in a minute is a couple of things that I will be hopefully doing with my channel. It's not going to be drastic, but there are some things that I have reiterated. Those of you who don't look at my vlogs, um, a couple of things that I won't be doing. Um, and some things that I want to start doing, you know, nothing drastic. It's still going to be around the same. Hold on, let me, let me get my cake here. Let me get my, my mystery punch. Hold on. So, hold on, y'all. All right, so hold on. Let me. I need to take it all down and then section it off. You know what I mean? So, um, my channel. What to expect from my channel? Besides all the foolery. <laughs> Of course, chit chats. I think you guys enjoy chit chat videos. Um, and I, I enjoy it, I like talking to you guys. Um, unless someone is coming out with some banging products where it's gonna fix all my problems, I will not be reviewing any products. Now, the only exception to that is that I'm, I'm thinking about reviewing, and actually I know I'm going to review Miss Erlette Pender's line. She just came out with a new line. Also, I um, just, oh, look at that, y'all, look at that. I just posted um, basically asking you guys what are some of your favorite products, and based on that feedback, I haven't gotten a lot of responses. I'm thinking of going back to uh, some old tried but true, but I also want to incorporate some new products. Like, look, y'all, there are so many black-owned products out there, companies. It's, it's amazing that you know how creative our people are um, I came up with a list of 20 that I know but that's not even considering the small business owners that sell on um, Etsy okay there's tons of little shops on Etsy or even Facebook so there are three lines that I am highly considering uh, purchasing in August and reviewing in September they are do you want to know girl you want to know okay she sent it, Mish, which is spelled M-I-C-M-I-C-H-E, and Kiera Botanicals. And out of those three, depending how I feel, I will take one and add that to my regimen. You know what I mean? I'm going back to TGIN and Jane Carter. Um, but I want to, I mean, like I said, there's so many other companies out there. I want to see if there's something that's better, okay? Um... Yeah, so after that, <laughs> look, I say that now, but seriously, I need to give my hair a break. Um, Y'all, I'm so sorry. So as far as uh, I asked you guys for feedback a couple of weeks ago, and the biggest overwhelming um, category, I had a couple of categories you could vote on because I set up a poll, and you guys wanted to talk about hair, hair discussions. In my opinion, this is a part of that. Yeah, chit-chatting and doing my hair done those type of videos so I don't want to be redundant but there are some topics that I um, want to discuss uh, one person stated that she wanted to talk about you know self-love and loving your natural hair absolutely I would definitely be talking you know possibly do a video on that I do want to do a separate video highlighting um, black owned natural hair companies uh, and then there was something else <laughs> Yeah, and then there was like another serious discussion video. But as far as hair tutorials go, I will be doing series. I will be doing, I would definitely be doing hair tutorials, you guys. Um, not necessarily, like I said, product reviews. So, but introducing hair tutorials in the form of series. For example, I just posted on Instagram today a couple of pictures of me wearing my hair in pinup styles. I rarely wear my hair out or down, you guys. It's typically up, pent up hidden away no one can see it so I would be doing a series on pinup styles 
I will be doing another series, uh, Styles for Mommy on the Go or Student on the Go, if you're not a mom or, you know, just anyone on the go. Um, African inspired styles, y'all. I can spend, I can spend a day and a half on the internet looking at hairstyles. Now look, I'm not a great braider. I do not know how to braid my hair. I barely know how to flat twist, girl. Sometimes they be looking raggedy, but um for example the uh Fulani people uh a lot of the times they do wear their hair in braided styles where they also wear their hair in this beautiful pompadour like a puffy pompadour in the front i hope this is the front of the Fulani if i remember correctly and then they have braids on the side or the afar men in east africa who will wear the almost long finger coils i'm pretty sure some of you have seen the picture of them next to uh like a painting of um egyptians and you can see the similarities right recreating some of those styles even recreating the styles of uh women in uh, my husband's tribe so yeah i want to i want to do that i think i'm pretty good at styling my hair I say that now um but yeah y'all that's what it's gonna be like and of course vlogging and definitely will be giving you guys updates on my regimen but you know my channel has mostly been product reviews and I have reviewed when I took look this is kind of embarrassing but there are at least three products that i reviewed twice on my channel one of them i'm going to be releasing in a couple of more uh actually next week is it next week or this week next week is a cantu deep conditioner and i know i've already reviewed it but i forgot and i reviewed it <laughs> so yeah i'm stepping away from that so that i can focus on my hair growth and i definitely want to get to a point to where i am waist length and i will more than likely cut my hair y'all my hair it has grown I don't know how long I am. I'm almost at the length. Y'all have to realize, I, my hair was pretty long. And you really couldn't tell. Some of you could tell. I was wearing my hair in a lot of shrunking stages, styles, girl. I was doing a lot of perm rods, um, a lot of braid outs. Um, rarely did you see my hair like this stretch. But it was pretty long. Um, 21 inches yeah <laughs> between 18 to 20 inches yeah is how long my hair was and right now we're sitting at about 16 inches all right so yeah y'all that's what's been going on with my hair so let's talk about the uh, tv shows first of all i caught the last episode of good girls the season finale and i know i'm way behind but the season finale and they better come through on season three i know y'all have seen it but now i'm over it they better come through on season three. Oh, i the type of person i would get so upset at a season finale i would cancel the whole damn show and not watch it like i'm serious i honestly think like there were a couple of people who were saying that beth uh christina hendrix character she purposely shot what is his name y'all rio she purposely shot him and he's going to live you know it's okay and he, they had it planned out i don't know about that if, if, if that's the case, okay, but I'm not sure if I 100% agree with that. Um, yeah, girl, whatever. I'm back to watching The Walking Dead, and um, I'm, I'm glad to see the crossover of the characters. I, I really do like Morgan on the show. There's a lot of English actors on this show besides Andrew Lincoln with his fine self. And he does a southern accent pretty well. I was I was surprised to hear he wasn't from the US. But anyway, uh, and of course, fine, fine as Frank is on there. Yeah, I don't like Frank on The Walking Dead, though. I really don't like, <sighs> as someone who's from the South, we've seen it time and time again, uh, the stereotypical slow uh, character with the southern draw. So, Frank's character on The Walking Dead is from the South, and he comes off, not necessarily slow, he comes off as dim with it. And I don't know, that kind of bothers me. And I, I've seen this before with, with, you know, stereotypical Southern characters being the, the dumb character, but anyway, girl, I'm getting in my feelings. That's the look of talking. So yeah, watching Fear of the, of the Walking Dead, watching a couple of shows, um, a couple of movies on Netflix. Girl, the best show on Netflix, it's a German-based show, Dark. When I tell you that, look, Dark is one of those shows, time-traveling shows, loop shows. First of all, I when I was watching, finished watching one episode, 
had to go through to Google and, and like look up the family tree. I absolutely love the show. It's different layers. They just came out with season two. I binge watch it. Oh, but did y'all know those of you who are watching it? Girl, it's something about me and older men. When I find out someone is over 45, your finest skill go way up here. <laughs> So one of the characters, excuse me, um, the actor that plays Jonas, the middle Jonas, there was a scene, girl, come on now, let me keep doing my hair. There was a scene where he walked out. First of all, I was laying on the couch. My, my tail got all the way up when I saw this scene. He's very cut. He's very defined. The actor is very lean. And he has that hip cut, you know, that where they're very lean and you can see the crease of the cut and it's going down to the grown area. And I know I probably need to read the book of Timothy after this, but he's very cut and very defined. I'm like, what the hell? I rewind that scene like two or three times just to see that. I was like, oh, he is fine. So, so then, like I said, well, up to his fine meter, I went online to see how old he is. This man is 50 years old. 50 years German. 50 years old. I'm like, oh, you know what? God was not sleeping when he made that man is fine. Fine. So anyway, you guys. All right, you guys. I've taken my hair down. I'm going to apply one pump, depending on. Um, I'm going to try my best to... Yeah, my hair is so dry. All right. One pump, maybe two of the styler slash detangler slash leave-in. All right. Now we're going to flat twist. Yeah, y'all. So I watched that. Trying to get into some movies. I really could not. I, right now, I cannot get into the Netflix show with the five young men who were wrongly accused of that park i i, I can't do it right now y'all not not right now not right now what else am i watching tried to watch the sci-fi show i am mother girl turn off the battery on the robot and leave but anyway um try to watch claws now y'all know claws is one of those shows God, it's so graphic. Like, does it really have this? Does every other episode have to have some graphic sex scene? It's just too much, y'all. So I'm not gonna be watching it this season. I just I'm not gonna be able to do it. Um, look, I had my thoughtish time. I mean, <laughs> whatever that means. I just can't do it right now. I really can't. Um, maybe, you know, maybe later on if something, you know, amazing happens, but right now I'm going to pass on claws and move on. I wonder how their ratings are doing. Um, did not watch the BT award show. Girl, I stopped watching that. The last time I watched it was when Monique hosted it. That should tell you how, when the last time I watched it. Something flew by me, girl. Um, yeah, I don't care to watch it. Didn't really watch it. That is it, y'all, as far as TV goes. Um, okay, so in these Facebook groups, y'all. So I really haven't been on Facebook much, but some of the things that people allow nowadays, I be thinking to myself, I would never. Like, someone asked, basically we're surrounding children, allowing their boyfriend and girlfriend to spend a night over the parents' house. What? Let me tell you something. First of all, that's disrespectful as hell. Where I'm from, it's Texas. We don't do that. I, I, I know a lot of other places, you don't do that at all. Spending the night of you, you, wait a minute. So, you wanna spend the night over your parents' house with your boyfriend. You could do that in your house, but you can't come up in my house. That, that's the type of stuff that my, my mama wouldn't even say that, but I wouldn't even be able to form my mouth to say, mama, can, can me and Alex stay up in your house? And y'all not married? Girl, no, even when I was grown, grown and my mama knew I was just out there, I would never bring or ask her if I could bring a boyfriend. You better go over there, get you a hotel. Actually, don't even say anything that you can get you a hotel. Don't even mention it. <laughs> and not only that, but you know, when you're not married, they don't even they don't even refer to your boyfriend by his first name. He's your little friend. Girl, it doesn't matter how long you've been dating. It doesn't matter if you got kids together. I remember when we went to um, Vegas and we weren't married at the time. 
we were engaged. Girl, that don't count. You we weren't married. And so my aunt was like, Vivian, what's your little friend's name? <laughs> My aunt and godmother. She said, what's your, what's your little friend's name, Vivian? I said, Alex. Which, by the way, y'all, I call him Alex. That's not his name. That's not his name. You don't, you don't need to know his name, but. <laughs> I could not stop laughing. But that's just how, you know, that's old school. But no. And I saw the comments going back and forth. And, oh, I think it was a mother asking what, what did she think about, you know, allowing her son's girlfriend to spend the night. And if that works for your family, that's something you could do, baby, good. But where I'm from, like I said, you don't do that. You don't just. No. Absolutely not. Girl, no, wouldn't be happening. I wouldn't even feel comfortable asking my parents that. So, girl, yes, I'm like, uh-uh. So, y'all saw the she room, right? Girl, I have been having a good time in the she room. Um, excuse me, uh, JB getting on my nerves. JB's like, Mama, can we go in the she room and shut the door? First of all, JB, keyword she room. No, you can't come up in here. Even if you are a female, you can't come up in here. No, Jamie. Okay, we go in there and watch. Uh, what? What's that little raggedy show? He he likes to watch Thomas the Train. Can we go watch Thomas the Train? No. I may put that TV. I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it, y'all. I definitely think that everyone, man and female, you should have your own space. You know, this was kind of random. I mean, when is it not random? Um, I want to say that you know I will be having a giveaway coming up. I just need to find time to record a girl. Um, and it will be conditioners, mostly deep conditioners, about eight conditioners. Unfortunately, it will have to stay here in the US because girl, baby, shipping those products last year internationally, I don't regret it, but I don't regret it, but it was just such a hassle. And it cost me way, not way more, it cost me more than the products itself. The, Shipping it cost me almost $80. Woo! Yeah, I know, girl. But hey, it was worth it to my friend down in the islands. I think, where were you from? It says Barbados. I think it was Barbados. It was worth it. I'm not complaining. It's just that this year I won't be doing it. But I will have, probably next year, everyone, I may have, no, I will. I will have a giveaway just for international people. Because I do have quite a bit, bit. Quite a bit. I will say between... Uh, the islands, my West Indies, and Europe are my highest outside. India is behind there. I have some Indian girl. No, I don't see. I saw one person comment once before. Um, but besides that, y'all don't y'all just be watching, but that's okay. All right, y'all. That is it. Thank y'all so much for your support, and thank you as always for watching. Take care. Bye.